Welcome everybody. <laughs> it's Shovel and Shelly and Digger Dave here for another adventure. It's October 24th, Saturday, 2020, and we're back here at our dump that we we were able to purchase. The Lord blessed us with, and we're starting into a new hole uh, down here close to the creek where Paul was digging at, and Shelly's going to give me a hand, and we're getting a late start today. It's about 2 o'clock, so we might only have about three hours to dig, and we'll be chopping into a new spot. But any words of wisdom? <laughs> well, just stay happy and safe. <laughs> yeah. So we want to thank everybody for watching and uh, for your comments. And we know that a lot of places are going through more of this Chinese virus uh, uptick. And don't get discouraged. We're going to get through this together. So... Tune into our videos and uh, Crick Diggers. We want to give a shout out to them and oh, Rocks <laughs> Cousteau and uh, Southern Searcher. There's some good digging videos out there, and I don't want to leave people out. I just don't get a chance to watch too much anymore. But anyway, we want to thank all of you and uh, come along with us for our journey. We're going to see what we'll find today. Yeah, thanks for all the shout outs out there on Facebook. Yeah. And we're halfway asleep and it's like, yeah, dig or dig, a lot. <laughs> we both jump up. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. We're meeting a lot of people. And we're trying not, yeah. we we try to respond, but we, we ha don't have a lot of time. So we're not trying to exclude anybody. So we'll get to them when we can. So yeah. I think Shelly's going to start. Keep help it, it out busy. a little bit too so all right but thanks again so come along for this adventure uh, we're going to start into a new spot uh, the sand pit where we were at up there close to the house um, it's about 10 foot deep we're going to continue on that but today we're we're going to come down here closer to where uh, paul has been digging paul and Brittany. and you can see where my shovel's at here i'm going to start pioneering a new spot here that I don't believe it's ever been dug. There's a place up in here, on the other side of this fence thing here, where Paul had dug a big hole a couple months ago. And uh, most of this area in here, though, I don't think anything's been done with. But I just kind of wanted to show that. And right over here is where Paul had been digging in our last videos. You can see his hole there. And as it came up the hill there, Brittany had been digging up there. But Anyway, I just wanted to show that, and um, we're going to get in here today. Shelly's just up there checking on some stuff, so I'm going to get right into it here, and we'll see what's going to happen today. All right, first bottle. Got something showing up down in here. Just getting kind of going, opening up the top in here. There's a bunch of hard-packed clay and roots, so... I just wanted to show this first little bottle that's popping out of here. It's probably a slick beer bottle. And it is. It's just a slick beer. But uh, WFNS Milwaukee is all it was. So, anyway, <laughs> that was only about six or eight inches down. So but you can see there's roots and hard packed stuff in here. So just to getting started. All right, just chopping in here. It's a real hard pack clay roots here in this top. So just kind of wanted to show it from the very start here what it's looking like. Trying to start in at the very bottom of the dump here, close to the creek. And it doesn't feel very good with a the probe there, but anyway, I just want to get get a good base of operations going, you might say. Here it's probably some of this stuff may have been dug many years ago, 40 years ago perhaps. But this stuff doesn't look dug here. It's just real hard pack clay and roots in it. So that's what's that's what's here. And I'm tempted to start farther up the hill where I would start right into digging some bottles. But to me, it's the wisest part is the dig it down to the bottom and then just go up the hill from there kind of like the way Paul did last time so that's what we're gonna plan to do here cut these roots out and just open up a hole it's gonna take a little while we got a late start today it's actually Saturday 
October 24th, and uh, Shelly and I stopped at a couple little junk shops on the way, found a couple trinkets, but we're going to try to get in here best we can, but all right, we'll get back to you as soon as we, as soon as we see something here right away. And here I stayed. Yeah. What did you find this time? <laughs> We just found a scoop. It hit the scoop and it, right behind it was the handle. Goes on there, let's see like that. It's like an old uh, nickel plated brass scoop. I don't know if you can see that. It's the handle come off, but yeah, it was bolted like on. Like the ice there. cream suit? No, scoop? yeah, it's like a scoop for like nuts and bolts or something like that or huh. feed, you know, maybe uh, for on a farm or something. Nice. I don't know, it could have been a kitchen. It looks like it had a little thing there hung up on. Anyway, that was kind of cool. Just yeah. hit that. So. I'm glad you oh, found and that. Here's one more. <clears throat> Our first bottle was a little cone ink bottle. It's a mm. uh, Carter's Made in USA on the bottom. Around 1912, 1915. So at least we got a couple little finds here today. All right. Good start. Yay, good start. Yep. <laughs> on the board. No. Keep on going. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Shelly's digging away here. <laughs> She's found a couple stoppers already. Yeah. It's kind of neat. Just a little area right there on top. Yeah. There are See nice ones. Found there. Of course, yeah. Heinz is our favorite. Yep. And this was pretty. Got four little glass stoppers, don't we? Yeah. And a brass, brass handle. handle. Like a duck. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Well, we're down in here about four feet. Now you see a granite ware pan there. But yeah, it's real hard. I'm just about on the bottom there. And it doesn't look very good. So I'm going to jump up here a little bit kind of move up about four or five feet up the hill here. It's going up at an angle. You can't see it, but it's almost a 45 degree angle going up the hill here, pretty steep. And I'm going to cut in up there and then backfill into this. So I think that's what we're going to do here. Okay, we got our other hole filled in there. Shelly's standing on basically. And uh, we're chopping in here into this bank it's some real hard stuff right in there. We've been trying to cut these roots and it's just like a real rocky, gravelly stuff. But we're hoping to get through that and down into something a little softer, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Out there. All right. We may not get much today because we're just kind of laying the groundwork for the next time. But <laughs> anyway, hope you stay with us. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Shelly's going to keep working on that hole. It's a real hard pack layer. It's about five foot thick layer of solid rock and gravel. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop, stop that. <laughs> so Paul was just on the other side of there, on the other, about 20 feet over, and he hit a gold mine down to about three feet or two foot. So something's changed in between there. We're thinking there was a big ravine or gully ran down through here real deep. And because uh, you come back up over here, and again, you pick up stuff where you know three feet in the ground, you're into some trash, and it's a completely different soil, it's all ashy. Whereas that where Shelly's digging, it's solid rock and gravel, like it'd been hauled in later. So, anyway, she's going to keep working on it, but it's getting kind of late in the day, so I'm going to jump down in here in this old hole of Paul's, the one from oh, a couple months ago and uh, see if I can get down. I don't know if I can get down to hitting anything as late as it is, but we're gonna try and we'll see what happens. All right, working on a jug, which you can see down in the hole there. I'm up in Paul's old hole. And um, anyway, I've devised a way that I could beat Paul in this battle of the jugs, and that's with Paul not being here, it gives me a distinct advantage. So, yeah. Believe it or not, I kind of figured that out on my own. So here we go. Let's see if we can get this one out. I'm going to go down in there and uh, see if we can pull this thing out. Hope it's whole. I see a handle on it. But 
I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's a brown jug. There's a bunch of bricks around it. There's a couple bottles sticking out over there. Get this stuff out of the way. See that jug right there. There's the handle to it. There's the top. So it's in pretty loose, ashy, trashy stuff here. So let's see if we can get that out of there. I always like to pull them out, not by the handle, because you can break the handle off. You put your finger, especially your middle finger, which is thicker and stronger, inside the jug, and then gently kind of lifting it out, like that. There we go. All right, that looks good. <laughs> All right, Paul, today anyway, Dad takes the lead. <laughs> yeah, oh, we'll digger Dad, how about that, huh? No brown jug. All right. One to nothing. <laughs> but I'm still not caught up with Paul yet, so. But all right, anyway, there it is. So I'm lay that out there. There's a couple other bottles here. Let's see what that one is right there. It's like a food bottle. Yeah, just a food bottle, but paneled. Turn amethyst, keep them always. It's a good rich zone right in there. Completely different than down there where... Unfortunately, poor Shelly's at right now. Look at there, there's a woman's shoe. There's an old heel. There's another, it looks like a food bottle sticking out of there. Oh, it's broke. Toss that one up out of here. But anyway, it's looking real good there. Yeah, I still got to shovel out some stuff. But uh, I just hit that jug, so I thought we'd show that. But uh, we'll get back in here in a minute. It looks real good. So I'm going to clear out this step, take it down, and then come into that. So we'll see what's going to happen here. All right, Shelly's down the hole. I just pulled that jug out and got down in there a little bit. And I don't know how much you can see. Hey, there's a little box. Yeah. I'll just start making a pile. All right, yep. The leaves all blowed in here, but... Figure out what it all is. Just pull it like a little... Oops. It's a little slick, but it's hand-blown. Like a little medicine bottle of some kind. Um, I hit a... While well, I go here, I hit a nice little Larkin Company. Buffalo. Yep, a little oval, hand blown, 1910 era. Market company. Um, hit a hit an insulator, but it was a real common one. There it is, there. Insulator and guy. A, hey. And a lid. A little lid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shell, you found a lid or something there. There's a little insulator. Get a ball. Yeah. All right, it looks real good down in there. Yeah, it sure does. Compared to what we've been digging, huh? Uh, yeah, there's just no ink to this here. Yeah. There's a so million bottles sticking in. Slick. Yeah. I think it says Rex. It says Rex on the bottom. Those were made at Illinois Glass Company. Drugstore bottle. Oh, it's got a crude lip on it. Kind of misshapen lip. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, it just looks so much different in here. I'm just gonna try to keep it on here. I'm going slow. That's all right. I just killed a beautiful stopper. <laughs> Somebody <Aww>. stop me. <laughs> Somebody. Oh, no purse. Oh, it sure was. Yeah. Part of the purse. Hey, maybe there'll be some gold dollars down in there. Yeah. Watch out for them $20 gold pieces. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Yep. <laughs> I think all diggers dream of treasure like that. $20 gold piece or silver dollars or something. One bar of gold. Yeah. <laughs> it happens, but one can always wish. <laughs> camera at a little slight angle so it looks kind of funny it's because I'm holding it. What is that? Is that a jug? Feels like a jug. Oh really? It's definitely a jug. I can't see it. But... It's almost like a mm. broken jug. <laughs> oh is it broke? I think so or chip. Oh well. I just I pulled don't... one out a while ago so maybe there'll be more in there. Yeah something heavy. <laughs> okay I'm gonna try to get it done. Okay. 
unbelievable. It is. It's really trashy in there. Yeah, you don't have your hand digger on you, do I you? I do. Yeah, that's right in my back pocket. I always ask that. There you go. I always oh. carry it in my back pocket. That knob is needing my hand digger now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's broke. So. Okay. It's probably kick up wine. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm just going to keep going. So okay, yeah, we'll get to it. Oh, I want to take in on this on the it was sure disappointing down there. We was hoping we'd get into a big layer pretty quick, but we we dug two holes there and threw this stuff, and it was nasty, hard-packed stuff. And nothing there. Yeah. Well, you can knock in some of that up higher if you want. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Keep chopping into that stuff. That's the thing about dumps, you never know where the stuff's going to be at. There's yeah. something. In there. That's something. Yeah. Looks like a flask. Okay. Shaped like a flask or something. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it oh. is. A Lydian. Hey. Lydia Pinkums. Lydia Pinkums. Oh yeah, vegetable, What's that for? vegetable compound. That's for female uh, problems. Yeah, women, their monthlies. It's hand blown. They sold a lot of them. They That's sold a the lot word. of that. That was the most popular female specific. You called them. What was in it? Uh, a lot of alcohol, probably. Oh, <laughs> it must have been good stuff, or it wouldn't have kept selling. Ooh, that's pretty one. It's like flow blue, see it? I don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah it's a piece of flow blue plate. See how the blue nice. kind of runs? Let's call that flowing blue or flow blue. Oh, yeah. Pretty. We'll save that in case somebody wants to use it for something. Okay, I'm going to stand up. My leg's falling asleep here. <laughs> that almost feels like a doll foot. It oh, is a is doll it? foot. A you always doll say leg. pick things up and fill them because. Well, yeah. I don't well, know. I that. could be wrong, it? but it feels like a dog foot. Well, I believe you're right. It's hollow. Boy, it's a crude one. Or it might have her toe broke off. Of him. <laughs> now we'll look at it later. It looks like a yeah. dog, right? It's a heel or something. We actually don't hit that many dolls in here, surprisingly. For some reason. Marble's just virtually non-existent. Didn't we find a marble today? No, it was an oh. acorn. I thought it was. I was all excited. <laughs> I thought I found a marble. It was an acorn. Squirrel uh -huh. played a trick on me. That's marbles. <laughs> yeah. That's an acorn. Okay, well, we'll get back to you if we yeah. hit something here. So. Oh, while Shelly's yeah. digging down there, I was just sitting moving my shovel over here, and there's a rain washed a bottle out of the side here. It's stuck in the wall. Uh oh. Oh, you hit something broke. Okay. Yeah, but look how pretty it is. Oh, Shelly just hit a broken uh, bottom of a. Pick up wine. Look at how iridized it was. Wouldn't that have been nice? Boy, that would have been a good looking one there. Yeah, boy, look at that. Had heavy, real pretty iridescence on that from being in the ground. That might have been palm. No. Boy, that would have been nice though. I don't know if that's worth saving for him, but okay, back to my project here. I seen a beer bottle sticking out of the wall. I can see something on the bottom. I see Illinois looks like here. Maybe. Let's see what we got. Uh, it. Yep, yeah, it's Danville, Illinois. It's a Feckert. Feckert Brew Company. Yep, from Danville. Oops, Shelly just hit a little... What is that? An olive bottle? Oh yeah, a little kick up olive oil bottle and get it back in the screen here yeah hand blown all right well at least we're hitting a couple things it's down right here digging I'm just playing around in the wall over here behind us yeah look at that up in there it looks looks real good up in here there's bottles and stuff but we'll get them on the way out yeah but, all right we'll, we'll keep it going boy there's another Correct. Oh, oh yeah, my flow blue there. 
Um, there's another one sticking out up in here. Well, I'll get it out later. There's a beer bottle or something. I know, it's hard not to. Though. I know. All right, well, we'll we get a couple bottles showing. We'll turn the camera back on. All right, right back. Just turn the camera off, and Shelly's hitting another one over here. See if and I can it's show exciting. It. Yeah. I'm so, just gonna grab it and try to get it out of there. Oh yeah. I ain't messing around with this one. He's just yanking it out. Hey, look at that. It's another one of them wines. Oh good. Yeah, like and it's one. got iridescence on it. Yeah. Sweet. Well good, yeah. honey. Yeah, it's already got some iridescence showing. Look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be pretty. I like those. Yeah, yeah look at that. Yeah. Oh, honey, that's a nice one, yeah, big I one. Yeah, I am hitting another lip. Are you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I would have to bury it. <laughs> I'm sitting right here in the hole with Shelly, so if the camera gets a little shaky, I apologize. Finally digging where he's set to dig. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and there lies yep, the treasure. Yeah, another one. Well, good. No. It's broke. Oh, oh well. Look it over. Yeah, like a big pickle bottle or something, maybe. Toss that aside. Oh no, there it was. It was a Caldwell syrup Pepsi. Oh, okay, we're not Yeah, that. no, because we found a few of those. All right. Nothing. Top. Yeah. That's all probably, uh, I think I probably dug that, okay. yeah. But underneath that has not been dug. Well, what's that? Oh, that's a broken uh, souvenir. Oh, okay. Like a little uh, ruby flashed. It's got something on it. Let me clean it off here. Oh, it was inscribed, I think, with her name. D D M set their initials on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, they use those at, like, carnivals and county fairs back in the early 1900s. Oh, okay. Yeah, 1902, yeah, 1905. Yeah, the all just coming in. bottoms broke off of it. I footed like that base. Pile. Cool, huh? Yeah, maybe somebody with initials of DM would want Never. that, so we'll save it. <laughs> Donna May. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Digging more. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you stay with us. We might have to clean out a little bit here, but we'll get back here pretty quick. Okay, we're back. Okay. I'll take a turn in the hole. Real trashy looking. There was a milk glass jar of some kind, cold cream jar, that big. Oh, sorry, I think I'm rolling back, didn't it? All right, nice good trash layer right in there. There's a, there's a little amber bottle. Yeah, a little hand-blown amber bottle there. No name on it, but... <laughs> stick it up over here. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Some broken stuff. Well, it's getting kind of late today. We got a real late start, but nevertheless, it's still fun. <laughs> There's a, whatever it is, it's got a big chip out of it, a big hole in it. There's a whiskey. Uh, boy, that was creating a problem here, didn't it? There's a ketchup bottle. <laughs> yeah, a little ketchup. They survive. Got a glass maker's mark on the bottom, but turn it into this. Alright, let me shut this dirt back here. In this direction where we need to go, actually. Let's see what else we got in here. I felt a couple down in there. Of a rock. Try to throw some of that stuff out as we go. Oh, there's a top to... Painters? Yeah. 
Probably a Hainer's whiskey. You know your bottles, that's good. <laughs> There's a broken cod liver oil. <laughs> There's a Scott's emulsion. There's a bottle sticking out right there. Let's see what that one is. There's another one right here. It's kind of funny. It seems yeah, that looks like a pretty big one. Yeah. Might be one under it, too. A big whiskey. Wow. Ooh, a great big coffin flask. Yeah. Now that's nice. Yeah. Shoe fly or a coffin flask. Yeah, that's like a quart one. Nice big hand blown. Yeah. Probably 1890s, turn of the century. All right. Some bubbles in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. There's a big root, root there. Is that? No. A little slick. Mm. Oh yeah, that was another one. This one looks more interesting. Let's see what it is. Panel. Oh, it's got a hole in it. It was a Porter's Pain King. Mm. Yeah, it got the whole corner out of it. But... Porter's Pain King. Oh. See what else is down there? Is that a little amber. Still got the cork. It's got something in it. <laughs> wow. Oh, you want? Why I tend to want to smell them things. I've learned. Some of them do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bottle to the left under the okay. barn. Okay. Yeah, and right here too. See what that one is. Oh, another slick. It can't be. Really? It's black looking. <laughs> yeah, it's got some black stuff in it, doesn't it? Well, let's see what that one is there. What we got on top of it? That root's just right in the way. I think I can twist it and break it off. Old Indian trick. <laughs> Take a root and twist and twist and twist it. And yeah, it usually comes out. Huh. Yep. <laughs> Indian trick. Okay. Be careful. We can't even use the word Indian anymore on eBay. Yeah, Ooh, nice big old one. Big old drugstore bottle. Nothing on it though. Slick. Big one though. Not nine inches tall. Hand blown. The wow. big bottle pothole. Yeah, it sure is. There was Honey an old hose. syrup pitcher, wasn't it? Boy, that would have been nice. I don't think that collar can be solid. Yeah. Okay. Little batteries. A lot of batteries in here. Save them. Got electric cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the electric cars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Boy, it's just a good, rich. Crash layer there, isn't it? Oof. Love it. Mm -hmm. Lots of broken cans, rusty. Open up the bottle back in there. See what that one is. Oh, there's another Caldwell syrup pepsin. Okay. <laughs> this was a smaller size than one you hit broken a while ago, but but it is a hand blown. It's one of the older ones. You know, hand finished double ring collar. Awesome. Yeah. That's the older kind right there. That'll sell well enough. Come on, Root. Come on out. Hey, whoops. <laughs> Seen a soda. Grab that one. Yep, Decatur Bottling Works, Decatur, Illinois. All right. That's a hand, hand blown bottle. Real happy with Decatur. Yeah, we like Decatur bottles. Cool. All right. Good place. Decatur Bottling Works. Yeah. We don't find that many sodas. I'm so jealous of guys down south and guys that dig out there and. Maryland, you find a lot of sodas, a lot of Cokes. We don't. I don't know why. It's a cultural thing, I guess. Boy, that would have been a nice bottle. Hole. Uh oh. Glad we're down in a hole. Damn shots. Think that deer's <laughs> dead. Yeah, I think he got him, man. <laughs> He's dead, dude. <laughs> I think about the seventh or eighth shot probably finished him off. I hope we didn't pick up no deer. Oh, I know. There's another big bottle down in there between the roots. Probably There's can't a see lot it. Of them. There it goes. Well, we did it. Could have done without that. <laughs> oh well, it's all got to come out anyway. There's a bottle. Hey, two bottles. Look at there. Well, that's good then. There's a cologne. Oh, it's cracked, but. Aww, we nice like clones. Little, nice little perfume. Hey, here's another Larkin. All right. All right. There we go. Another Larkin. Larkin Company. Buffalo, hand blown. 
Yep, about 1905 to 1910. Got the pork in it, huh? Yeah. Huh. Still got something in there. Now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to this side just a wee bit here. Okay. There's a, uh, there's another broken Caldwell. Alrighty. There's a big bottle right underneath here if I can get to it. Another big one. It's like a whiskey. Oh, this is another one. I didn't see that. Oh, another whiskey flask. It's one of them kind that says Pix on the bottom, P-I-X. And they made them so oh. thin so they could put them in their coat. Yeah. You yep. Think? Them were pocket flasks. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I always call them. Real popular because they could put them in their coat pockets or something. Two bottles. Yeah. I think that's a jar. No. I'm going to have to clean this out and get right up here. It's not. Oh. oh it's broken in it. Yeah. There's some whiskey here. Come on. Oh, no name. Slick. Yep, no name. <laughs> I tell you, them slick ones are tough. Boy, oh boy. Oh. Brutal on us here. <laughs> Boy, that's just a lot of rust and trash in there. Wow. It's kind of exciting. Yeah. Okay, I better, I better clean out some of this stuff. I'm starting to bury myself here. Yeah. <laughs> you got one foot in the hole, honey. One foot, you better. One foot in the grave here. Better clean One pint out. milk ball. It's broke. Aww. Alrighty. We'll be back. Alrighty. Yeah, Kelly just pulled one out. She just got back in there. It's a, what is it? Kilmer's? A, yeah. Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root. Oh. Kidney, liver, and bladder cure. Yeah. That's probably before 1906, because after that they put remedy on them. Here at the end, instead of cure, it says remedy. And it is a hand-blown one. You know, that's the medium size, 7 inch. All right, that's that keeper. Down here and take a break. Yeah. It's broke. Oh, oh it amber. broken one. Yeah. A little amber slick. And throw that one over the pile like a grenade, man. <laughs> oh, it's been a short day, but it's been fun, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Except for that first part, chopping through them rocks <laughs> and roots. Here comes. Something square. Oh, square. Okay, now I gotta look. I think it's just square though. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's alright. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's broken too. Alright, yep. Didn't have nothing on it anyway. Oh, well. Didn't lose much there. Nope. <laughs> I didn't pull this one out. Yeah, I need them up there. Oh, it's a, oh, a whisk. <gasps> What is it? Honey. What? What is it? I see a whiskey. Is there? All right. There's With a the fancy bottle. neck. Ooh, could it be a Jack Daniel? Oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> no. Oh. It's definitely it's gonna a whiskey. Be a good one. I hope it's whole. It's well, round, so it's not a Jack cave Daniels. In. It's a Should Jack Daniels. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, that is a fancy one. What oh, is it? Oh, it's embossed. Is it? All right, Shelly. Oh, boy. I can't even begin to think what, what this is. What is that? I can't read nothing in here. Oh, that's a Garrett wine. Garrett. A real fancy How one, you isn't it? So much. Oh. Speaking for so long. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a real nice fancy one, isn't it? St. Louis and Norfolk. Yeah, it's got a chip in the top. Oh, but bummer. That's all right, though. It's a real fancy bottle. <laughs> oh, look at that, a tile. Yeah. Well, that's about the plainest tile I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. Everybody always digs all these real fancy ones. Look at this. It's, oh, wow. Look at that. What do you got? Hey, that's pretty. Look at that. Seashells on there. Yeah, it looks so it's like a little salt shaker. Or possibly a cologne bottle. Wow. All right, honey. That's cool. Okay, what else is there? Yeah, look at that. That's a fancy one. Yeah. All right. Oh, we still throwing a few bottles here. Yeah, the soap. No, that's just a oh. plate. Laying these back here. So. 
bad camera work here. Oh. What? Wood handle. It's a handle. Wood in the handle. Yeah, right. it's an old handle. I don't know. We might be able to salvage that. That's off like the one, you know, like a jug it had a wire going through it. Oh. Anchored oh, into the okay. sides of either a bucket or a jug or a chalk or something. Sure. Yeah. Hopefully you can salvage it. <laughs> All right. Hope everybody's doing good. Staying safe. You know I see a jug off to your left. Really? Way up, way up underneath there. Right here? Right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. See Boy, it? that's going to fall in. Yeah, right well, maybe right away we'll get it. Okay, let's... Keep working on that lower I level. Get this a little bit here. Yeah, we'll get a little bit more of that. It's going to get dark here on us, uh -oh. so we're just kind of scurrying around like gophers. Wow. But, uh oh, what's that? But it's a good trash layer, so we don't want to rush anything. Oh, another slick. whiskey flask. Yep. Little slick half pint whiskey. Bing, bing. Boy, they're all hand blown. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. We're going to have to redig this a couple times, I think. Mm hmm. Yeah, we actually right. didn't get down to the very bottom of the dump. It's another two and a half feet down but it's too dangerous and there's nothing there there's about a two foot layer of ash that there's nothing in that it's sterile ash and it does feel like there might be something on the very bottom but we've been down there numerous times and there's not much it's, it's a lot of work to get down there and it's dangerous so we just Damn. we're going down to about the eight foot level and we're leaving it at that and we're probably going to have to eventually come in with a backhoe and dig yeah. this up and get the bottom that's kind of our plan. But we're going to play it safe. Okay. All right. We'll just that. yeah, knock in some of that side up there while we still got some light. There's a jug. We got one jug. Let's see if we can get two. We're going to catch up with Paul. Oh, I thought. It was, but... It's still stuck, isn't it? Yeah. Probably oh, stuck okay. pretty good. Let's leave it for a while. Yeah, leave it for a while. Just keep working yourself up. You know, in a little okay. better zone. Boy, we almost need a light. I uh, know it. I can't see around the corner there. I know. That's oh, the in. Okay, yep. yeah, I'd let that go. There you I'd go, leave man. that alone. Go right into that okay. area. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. Can I see what that was? <laughs> no, leave it. Here. I would not. Okay. I would not. It's All been right. dug over here and it's loose from where Paul okay. was at. It'll just keep falling in our. I just thought there was something under there. There probably is, okay. but we'll have to get it next time. Yep. Okay. Let's get what we can while there's light. We could break out a light, but the lights I got aren't very good for this. Little headlights. Oh, man. Ooh, that is pretty, wasn't it? Blue. Mm. Yeah, I'm blue picture. Yeah. I'd knock in about two feet up from where you're at. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that down there is not very profitable. Alright. Hey, right. hey, there we go. And it's embossed. It's embossed. Yay. That's a great big Leon Perrins. Wow. That's a huge Leon Perrins Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Yeah. <laughs> Tongue tire for me. Leon Perrins. And then on the shoulder it says... Worcestershire. <laughs> nice old hand blown one though. That's cool. Yep. Okay. Nope. That's broke. Okay, I'm gonna switch over here. Oh, I see. Nope, that's broke. Oh, with it. Just oh. the bottom out. Oh, it's an ink, but the bottom's gone. Yeah. So oh, yeah. straight of a break. Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, here comes something. Wow. Okay, I'm... okay, we're trying to come back. I know it's low light here, but so it's probably not going to focus very good, and I apologize. Oh, Shelly just chip. pulled out. Oh, it's Chip. She just pulled out a Sanford zinc, a little aqua cone ink. Sanford's on the bottom. Get what I believe is a, uh, a printer's plate here. Well, 
printer's plate, like an old advertisement or something for a newspaper. We'll have to clean that up and see what that is. But it actually even had the wood, looks like the wood backing here. So whether that preserves or not, I don't know if it's wood. I don't know what it is, but we'll have to look at it. But she's trying to get a jug out right now. See, it's stuck in some hard stuff there. It's hard to get those out. But. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's another one up over her right shoulder back in there. You can see the bottom sticking out there, yep. Yeah. We'll get that one in a moment. It's getting kind of chilly. It's been a <laughs> nice day, actually. Yeah, in that the nice end of day. October. But... Night know. digging with yeah. Shovel and Shelly. <laughs> it's turned to be dark now. She's back in there. She's working on a couple, she said. You could knock in that stuff above you there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. I think you ought to knock that in. Yeah. Okay. And that, that um, shelf there. Because that's going to. There. Now yeah, look at the bottles falling in. We're going to have food bottle. Okay. Yeah, it's a food bottle. It's going to okay. be blurry because it's, it's dark and it's cold. Both the factors is. This camera doesn't like either one of them. Oh my goodness, I'm just going to hand them out to you. Alright. <laughs> okay. Two. Another little slick. What's that? Oh, no, it's not a slick. Hey, that's a uh, Gillett's High Grade Extracts with the owl on it. Yay, I like those. Oh, this would have been I nice. I just love those. Ooh, yeah. Stop. Oh, man, look at that. Milk glass. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yep, right. glass mug. One. Hey, look at that! It's a jar. All right, there was it's one, one of them. Behind it, but there's a big hole Sweet. in it. Sweet, it's one of them stone mason jars. Yep, it says stone mason on the shoulder, and it'll say Macomb on the bottom. I can't see it dark, but it's real heavy. All right, honey, that's great. Yeah, this is good. yeah, we're we're zoned in now. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put these up out of here at this night. Be, um, you always want to put stuff up because you can step on them and break things. Yeah, I love the miniature whiskey. Digging at night with Shovel and Shelly. That is the fourth one of these little miniature whiskeys we dug. And you know, several years ago, I dug two or three of these that said Buffalo Springs, uh, Stamping Ground, Kentucky on them. And it's Aww. shaped exactly like this, and these are plain. But, Oh, There's yep. There's a big dug back here, but it's broke. Whitmer Boston. Oh, is it? Yeah. it's. You could tell where it used to be whole, mm. but this, this sheer uh, freaking uh, weight of the ground just smashed it. Was, it. It was whole when it was made. Yeah. Oh, oh I see that back in there. Yep. Yeah. Just the pressure broke mm -hmm. it, didn't it? Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. It is. It looked like it was a well, dirty one. Yeah. But the jug right next to it survived. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good pottery area. At least we're hitting some jars. I'd rather hit jars than hit some jugs. I like mm -hmm. some jars. Oh, what was that? Oh, I thought it was a miniature jug with uh, a bottle. Had me. Uh oh. That looked like a blob top soda. Don't tell me. Oh. It was, but at least it was from Chicago. <laughs> Wine, something. Oh boy! I don't know what it was. Something Brothers. Yeah. Wine Kinkers. Wine. I don't know. Wine. Wine Schinken and Brothers. Really? Hmm. It's wine oh, that's time. too bad. That was a blob top too. There's it's a hutch. Wine o there's a hutch stopper still in it. Ain't that a shame? It had to be broke. That's actually an odd one. In fact, it's got something on the back of it. Something really funky and like an eagle or something. Aww. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Oh, no. Not sure what it was, but it had something on the back. Oh, well. But, you know, these slicks survive. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. No, that one actually got a big chip out of it, too. So. Oh, doesn't it? Well. Put that one away. Okay. Can't win them all. No. 
No, that's now right. This would have been cool. Kind of oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Spittoon or planter or something. Weird coming out. No, I'm gonna grab this big root right here. Hold on here. Okay. There's a uh oh, it's no, I better not do that. Uh oh sorry. Got the ripple effect. Once I pull that, the whole thing's gonna come down on this side. Yeah. You can see that jug in there that was whole, but the pressure rocks and stuff all around it broke it. Looks like we got ourselves a flask coming out. Yeah. Oh, you can see up in here there's the... Mm -hmm. She's working on something in there. It's definitely turned cold now. It was... Oh, oh it's embossed. No, it's not. Huh? I'm seeing oh, stuff. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah, you're hallucinating. Hallucinating. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <Stop. laughs> like an old brother for art there. You loosen the genating. to tell me something. Oh. Pint whiskey. There comes another bottle. Oh man, I'm pouring that out. That water's running right on my pants. <laughs> I'm pouring it out and it ran right back on me where I was sitting. Well, did you bring the That was really time? smart of me. <laughs> Mine fit. I think that get a few years of experience Look. you wouldn't do stupid things like it's that. It's a whole one. Like the older I get, the stupid yeah. I get. <laughs> do stupid things. You gotta retrain you. Yep, I need to be retrained. I need to be potty trained now. My pants yeah. are all wet. <laughs> right where I was sitting, I dumped that now out that behind me as if I didn't know that water <laughs> runs the downhill. There's a certain scientific principle at play here. I that way. I know I'm not supposed to, but... <laughs> yeah, you naughty girl. Yeah, I better leave it alone. Yeah, it's going to get blurry in here now. I don't think this thing's even going to focus. Okay. Yep. All right, we got home, finished with our dig, and anyway, here's the uh, stuff after Shelly cleaned it up. She had to wash everything, so... Oh, boy, she had to do all the hard work. <laughs> but, Oh, we had fun anyway. It was kind of a late day, early uh, early day for us, but we didn't do too bad, so we were pretty thankful. Hit into a good little honey hole there. And um, we'll talk about a few of these. This is a nice looking bottle. It's a Garrett and Company uh, wine bottle, American Wines from St. Louis and Norfolk. And it's, again, the angle of the light here ain't very good, and I apologize. But you can see it's got eagles and flags, and it's a real fancy shaped bottle. I really like that one. That's a cool looking bottle there. And um, those are probably worth about $30. Olive Amber Applied Lip, real crude applied top, crown top on that. It's probably like a mineral water bottle. And you can see it sits kind of crooked there. It's hand blown, but neat little bottle. Probably around 1910 age, and those are worth about $20. Got a pair of Dr. Kilmer Swamp Root bottles there, and uh, this was the seven-inch size, kind of medium. Got Dr. Kilmer Swamp Root kidney, liver, and bladder cure from Binghamton, New York. Hand blown, 1890s, turn of the century bottle, and uh, that was worth 20 bucks. This big size next to it. Says the great Dr. Kilmer Swamp Root, kidney, liver, and bladder remedy. And you notice the difference? This one's a remedy, and it does not say specific in that little sunken panel down there. So that's probably after 1906. That kind of helps date that bottle to around 1910 era. And those are worth, I put about $29 because I got to allow for postage on them, which sometimes would be over $9, $10. And, 22 cent to be precise on uh, a lot of places it goes in the country so I price them at $29 so you can kind of be the judge of values on that just give, gives you an ideal if you've got to some of these bottles or dig one uh, about a $20 bottle and one of the most popular bottles is a Dr. J. Hostetter stomach bitters a yeah, real nice embossed one here it's hand blown. Well, maybe it ain't hand blown. It looks like machine made. Yep, that's a machine made one there. 
So, um, anyway, cool bottle. I always enjoyed finding them. And it'd be about a $15 bottle. Decatur Bottling Works from Decatur with the Decatur Bottling Company and the diamond there. It's a hand finished crown top. Uh, bottle about, about 1905 to 1912 and it'd probably be worth in the neighborhood of 15 or 20 dollars there's a green sax cylinders bitter quill and you can see the glass it's what we call whittled you see it kind of glimmering but it's a hot glass being blown into a cold mold is what refer calls that in that whittled glass and it's a sax cylinders bitter quill or a mineral water it's not a bitters well, it was like a bitter water. It was a Hungarian. Hunyadi Janos was a Hungarian hero from back in the Middle Ages, I believe. But that one's got an accrued applied lip. 1890s, turn of the century bottle. And it'd be worth $20 because of that whittling. Real pretty little, I guess, a salt shaker. It could be a cologne bottle. Uh, either one. Pressed pattern. It's not cut glass. It was made to copy the cut glass, but um, it's a pressed pattern. Neat little flower type bottom there. That's pretty cool. You can see. I think Shelly pulled that one out. That was a neat bottle. 1910 age as most of this stuff. And that one would be worth around $15 or $20. Pretty common beer bottle that we find. McAvoy Brewing Company out of Chicago called Malt Marrow. And it was a health beverage type stuff an alcohol a beer that was basically good for your health a tonic type you can see on the bottom it's got nice embossing McAvoy Brewing Company with that little asterisk star and it's a twenty dollar bottle next to it's another beer bottle from Danville Illinois just embossed around the base Fecker Brew Company Danville Illinois and some of these have a little number that you'll find right at the heel of the bottle. I don't see nothing on that one. There is a number there, but it's not, not what I'm looking for. It might have a 10 or a 12. I can't make that out. But anyhow, it's, it's dating from pre-prohibition. It's before 1916 on that one. A $10 bottle, 15 maybe. Then we come down to the bottom row. Got a little gillets, high grade extracts with the owl on the moon there. I always like those. That's a $20 bottle. Turn of the century, hand blown. Pretty common insulator. Patented 1893. It's a Hemingway number 12. The Hemingway Glass Company made a lot of different insulators, and this particular style was called the number 12. It has the uh, drip points on the bottom, sharp. Patented 1893. And that's not much value in those, maybe $5 if you're lucky. A little amber bottle there, hand blown. Bossed around the base. Oakland Chemical Company, Dioxygen. And that was a patent medicine that was popular here in Illinois. Common bottle, about 10 bucks. Big size, Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Right there, and you can see it's got an applied lip. You can see it's kind of got a drip underneath there. An 1890s bottle, and that big size there would be worth about 20 or 25 dollars. Those are a little harder to find than the small size ones. So that's your family size, I guess you'd call it. Pretty green bottle. It's made on an early machine. You see a mold seam does come around the neck there, but it was made in England. J.L. and Company, I forget what glass company that is, but it's just a pretty bottle. Not worth much, probably $10, but it's just nice. Uh, would have been mineral water, most likely, in that. There's a nice Larkin Company model, hand-blown. And yeah, still got the cork in it, and whatever was in it, maybe just be water. Who knows? Larkin Company, they produced all kinds of medicines and extracts, food products. Looks like that might have a crack. Oh, it's got a little crack in the shoulder. But normally those would be worth about $20 a piece. Real pretty honey amber unembossed bottle, medicine bottle. 
and uh, nothing even on the bottom of that one but just a nice colored bottle worth a few dollars another Larkin company kind of different shape oval one little stubby oval bottle that's a snuff bottle we don't find a whole lot of them around here you go down south and they're all over the place digging about every hole you dig down south uh, snuff was a powdered tobacco real popular in southern culture Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound one of the more common female specific bottles of the late 1800s and the early 1900s from Lynn, Massachusetts common bottle but still worth uh, fifteen dollars hand blown one there yeah, California fig syrup San Francisco and Louisville hand blown bottle that was worth twenty dollars sell pretty good and uh, yeah, one of my favorites a real pretty iridescent it's a big champagne wine bottle you can see but that's got some pretty coloring on that one backside not so much we didn't really clean it we just kind of rinsed it off in water is all we did so it might be able to be cleaned up a little bit better it's got a nice big kick up bottom there but isn't that pretty right nice iridescence nature's artwork I call it <laughs> one of our better items here is a stoneware uh, Macomb fruit jar big one and on the shoulder it's hard to read because it was glazed over this it had embossing in it uh, sunken into the pottery but it says the stone mason and then it's got I think patent applied for on the other side over here yeah patent applied for you can just barely make it out on this side and then on the bottom it would say Macomb Pottery Company but it's it's been glazed over also so it's real hard to read that was made in Macomb, Illinois, and those are worth about fifty or sixty dollars. A little, probably a cologne bottle, panels on it, hand blown. Ever present Listerine bottles, we find a lot of them. That was real popular here, as it was from St. Louis, and this was probably one of the first places Listerine was distributed, and that was one of the older hand blown bottles made by Obernaster Glass Company in East St. Louis. Got that little O N mark on it. It's worth twenty dollars. Real common uh, Fletcher's Castoria, Charles H. Fletcher's, and it's hand blown. Very common bottle, maybe worth a couple dollars. A couple slick coffin flasks over here, little half pint. That one's got strap sides, and that's a regular, little bigger coffin flask bottle there. Cleaned up real good, didn't it? Real nice and clean. Yeah, well, the jugs we got, a little brown jug, about a gallon size, real nice with a plied handle. Probably made in the 1880s or 90s, had it around a little while. There's a little newer style with a square shoulder. Again, it's got a plied handle, but probably around turn of the century. Nothing on either one of them. And just some other miscellaneous bottles here, Caldwell's Syrup Peps. And here was a broken Hutch Soda from Chicago. Uh, Wine Schenker Brothers, O'Brien Street, Chicago, and it's got a real nice, looks like a Polish eagle or something on the back there. I'm not real sure, German or Polish. That'd have been cool. There was a stopper come out of it, the old Hutchinson wire loop stopper. If you see those, that's that's usually 1890s. You know, it was patented around 1880, but they were mostly popular in 1890s and. Still even up after turn of the century some places. There was a scoop we dug. The handle come off of it. It was just barely on there, but it was an old, uh, probably nickel-plated brass uh, scoop. Got a few glass stoppers there. You can see that when Shelly and I first were digging there. This was a Heinz. It's got a keystone and a key on it. Some of the old Heinz bottles. And Shelly found that one a real cool-looking little thing. A little uh, crown on top of it. And a couple of the amethyst. Uh, it's for a whiskey. Whiskey bottle had a cork went around it, went in a whiskey. Like that. This was an interesting thing. It's a printer's plate. You can see that's the wood block. And you can't make it out. We again we didn't clean it up much. But uh, it's got wording all in here. This was uh, from a newspaper print office. 
So we may find more of them. It's unusual to find one unless it was an advertisement and it was owned by the person that had to put the ad in there, but I'm not sure. But anyway, that's kind of cool. And uh, just some other things. Old brass handle, wood handle off a, of, you know, something. Some inks. A couple little cone inks here. Uh, I think they're Carter. That was a Carter's. That's a Sanford's. That's a Sanford's. Another. I think they're mostly Sanford's inks. But anyway, those are worth about $15 a piece. There was four little sample whiskeys and I said when we dug these, I've dug these before years ago that said Stamping Ground Kentucky uh, from Buffalo Springs Distillery. Uh, these, it was kind of this shape. These unfortunately are unembossed. But, they're all vinyl wines, got the top chip. I don't know why we saved that one. But some other stuff. This would have been real cool. I thought it had rabbits on it. And the ears looking, but it was just flowers. All excited. I thought I had me a rabbit glass there. <laughs> some pretties there. Tiles and a piece off a stained glass window. Hope we find some more of that in there. Some flow blue. You see how it's blue? It kind of flows in there. Some slicks, a jar. This was a wax sealer jar, a real early one, probably 1870s. And it, uh, had salt glaze. You can't see it. We didn't wash it. We just set it here. But it was a wax sealer and they've chipped away a lot of the outer ring and I suppose they still used it as a jar of some kind but that was kind of interesting and this was just a milk glass little mug it had, I don't know medieval people on it but that was about it we had fun and we hope to be back we're um, we're planning a, a privy dig we got a couple spots lined up we probed out a couple privies in a, in a place where we haven't dug so we're looking forward to doing that Shelly and I might get out tomorrow but so we're gonna try to get this video loaded and we thank you for watching we appreciate all of you and if you haven't yet we'd sure appreciate it if you could uh, like and subscribe uh, we're, we don't know much about how to do that stuff even now but we thank all of you for watching and uh, God bless you and God bless America.